Okay, so that was all about Barkan dunes. Now we're going to look at transverse dunes. These are some beautiful transverse dunes on Earth. They're actually in Peru. And what's interesting about transverse dunes is that they also form, like the Balkan dunes, in winds that mostly come from one direction. But unlike the Balkans, they tend to form where there is lots of sand available. So if you have winds coming from mostly one direction and you're trying to figure out what kind of dune will form, you need to look at how much sand is available. So look at this little diagram over here and you can see that um, the wind is, is basically coming from one side and the, the, there's like a, a gradual slope of sand that builds up and then there's this slip face when the, the dune gets big enough there's a slip face where the sand instead of making the dune even bigger it just sort of tumbles down over the edge and doesn't doesn't continue to build it up and and so you tend so you can see that even though these dunes look like lines one side of the line is very smooth and you can kind of see that here a nice smooth gradual increase and then there's quite a sharp drop at the other side so what really distinguishes these dunes from other sort of linear dunes is that you have an asymmetry um, either side of the slip face. On, on the um, Stoss side, the slope here, you have a smooth incline and then on the slip face, the, the lee side of the dune, you have this steep drop. So transverse dunes are perpendicular, so that means at 90 degrees to the main wind direction. And the dune is much steeper on the side facing away from the wind. So its slip face is a lot steeper than the other side of the dune. 